them. I'm at the airport, mate. And I'm trying to make my way to my gate. But I need to check in, so stand by. So boom. Checked in, mate. At the airport, as I said, it was a little bit sketch because basically I fucking left my boarding pass at home. But it's fine, it's not a big deal because I just printed it out again and yeah, it didn't take long. Airport security was a piece of piss, mate. Like, literally, it was so easy, it wasn't as bad as everyone makes out. But yeah, anyway, I've got some crisps and some snacks. I was looking for a Burger King, but I don't know, my uh, gate is not not announced yet, but like, where I've got to go, so I just thought I'd sit and perch and give you a little update. Um, it'll be intermittent updates because, yeah. It's on a, I don't know, just like a bit of a weird vibe. But yeah, it's all good. I hope you're feeling good. And yeah, looking forward to the trip. And uh, yeah, it's all good. I literally, it's all good. I've just bought a shop, Dixon's. I thought they were closed. Like, I thought they had shut down, but they're still in business. But I kind of need to eat something and I don't really want to have the plain food. So I might just uh, try and find somewhere. But yeah. Anyway, stay blessed for now. So boom. Okay. Just had to check the gates and everything, mate. And yeah. I've got myself some food. I've got myself a wrap. I bought crisps and I've got a Fanta twist from the shop. Also got a Kit Kat, part of a meal deal, the WH Smith's meal deal. But yeah, but I only brought a little small bag with me. And yeah, but it's all good. Like everyone's just moving up and down to their gate. But my gate is not being announced. Like literally I've got, it's not being announced until like 7, 7, 758. So yeah, but uh, yeah, it's all chilled mate. I literally, it's all chilled. Fucking, I went to buy this food yeah in uh, WH Smith's and the lady that was there she was fishing so hard like she was properly fishing like it was creeping me out like she was an operative mate she was definitely government like, literally she was fishing so hard like she was properly fishing but yeah anyway fucking it's all good mate anyway stay blessed for now so boom, fucking just had some food, I've got half a sandwich for later, a bit of wrap, and yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and check the gates again, and take it from there. Boom. Making it to my gate, mate. I've got to go to gate 28, so yeah. Finally, I've been waiting for fucking long, mate. But literally, this whole middle bit, it's not the one, mate. And uh, it's the first time I've travelled on my own like this. So yeah, but I'm going to uh, get going and uh, take it from there. Hope you're on good vibes mate, you're feeling blessed. I'm feeling good. And uh, yeah, it feels weird to be at an airport and uh, being out, so yeah. But it's all good, I'm nearly there now. Go straight down and then out. Number 28, mine was the furthest part of the airport and I could have fucking gone already but yeah anyway stay blessed for now so we're waiting to get on the plane mate and yeah a little flip it's all good it's all good Yeah, I've landed. 
under yeah so chilled had a little walk around and yeah still settling in but i'll uh update you as i get to know a little bit more but yeah stand by so boom fucking i'm in amsterdam mate and yeah but i'm just making my way to the hotel like literally and i've been chilling smoking and uh yeah but i also gotta remember whoa shit that everything is on the wrong side of the road and the police are there I don't know if you can get fined around here. But yeah, fucking, I don't even know where I'm going, mate. I literally, oopsie. And there's better bikes everywhere. I literally, there's just so many bikes. Tomorrow, I hope to do a little bit more of a, a walk around and a proper, like a, video that I can maybe edit together but otherwise yeah but yeah I'm that dickhead that's walking around speaking to a camera and uh, yeah but this is my first time here mate and it's pretty sick so literally it's pretty sick so yeah I had a smoke up as I said in a coffee shop oh my fucking god mate oh mate my first time in a coffee shop mate I literally I mean there's fucking coffee shops everywhere but yeah I literally oh wow like like all the weed is just like displayed everywhere plus by my hotel there's a coffee shop as well they close they close at like uh, they close at like around one but the latest they're open is one so yeah i'm looking for the number one tram but yeah there's another one booty bot that's one on my list that i want to go to but yeah hope you're on good vibes mate i'm feeling good i literally look like a fucking nut job talking to myself mate but you know it's all good it's different to what you used to I literally but I'm not that guy I literally I'm not that guy like because people are actually looking at me I literally so I'm not that guy but either way yeah the tram looks like it should be here also another thing yeah like everything there's no fences if you look there's no fences everyone just walks and that's it like you don't get people that just walk out you just look where you're going basically and like the traffic is very organized like really really organized but yeah i think i think oh shit i think such a fucking wanker because I always read all the maps so like, literally but like, most people go on their phone so it doesn't look like too bad <clears throat> it just looks like they're texting but um yeah
Yeah, I definitely need to be here. Oh no, I need to be going to. I don't want to go to Central because that's where I've just come from. I want to be getting on. Oh fuck. Hold on a second. Seven. This has been quite an experience mate But I've just realised I've got a supermarket Right down the road from me By my hotel So yeah But I'm gonna See what's going on with uh, The bike situation So I may be able to Get a bike But yeah I should be going all the way down here and then uh, I'll be there everything is very clean very nice it's quite uh, compact but uh, organized like, very organized and a lot of people are riding bikes I always hear bells but I keep forgetting to look and they have a bike lane which is an actual bike lane it's like constantly in use as if it were a road so you have to look before you step into a bike lane because yeah and also the motorbikes and mopeds that are under a certain cc use them as well so yeah but people get a bit pissed off at me just filming everything but literally because i hate i hate when people are like that now i'm just being the tourist I'm such a such, and everything's on the wrong side of the road as well I've got such a better respect for foreigners now because I'm foreign I literally I have no clue what I'm doing and yeah but it's all good I'm uh, nearly there and yeah once I've settled in I'll uh, get back to you but I'm not sitting where I need to be so, I may have to, uh, doo -doo -doo. I may have to ask. So I may have walked too far, you see. just wanted to check into the hotel, the place where I'm staying, and yeah, I literally, but I'm right by the street, so I don't even have to walk far to the uh, the tram and shit, but yeah, I'm hoping to do like some reviews of weed as well, I literally, I really want to do some reviews, and uh, also fucking... I want to uh, go to like some museums and shit. And yeah, I need to find out where the supermarket is. But I want to go back to where I've just come from because that place was really sick. And they had strawberry fanta there, everything. Like literally, I'm going to take my bag with me. And uh, I'm going to just fill it up with stuff. And yeah, come back with some munch and food and shit. And yeah. Also need to go to a place to get some money changed and I did pass one of those places but I'm gonna go back to Amsterdam Central and yeah, see what it's like. But 
at night it kind of changes so I don't really want to be out as a tourist I'm just such a fucking bumbling cunt mate like literally oh mate I've never felt so useless in all my life but I'm here now and I'm enjoying it like I've had a smoke up already like I've smoked up here and it's fucking chilled like literally it's fucking nice but yeah there's stuff that I need to get and it's just going to cost a little bit but I've got funds and I'm here to enjoy myself so I'm not going to fucking bitch and moan and get myself caught up in fucking luxury problems mate I'm just going to enjoy myself so I'm going to head out now, um, I'm going to jump on the tram because I've got my bus pass that can just get you on the boat, get you on the canals, on the fucking bus, tram, train, metro, everything, like literally. So I took the tram today, that was my first time taking a tram. I took on a tram before when I was in Manchester but I haven't taken one since then, I was about 10 or 11, so yeah, that was alright. And uh, yeah, so... That's it really. I'm sorry that it's been a bit hectic because I kind of travelled. I spent the day travelling and then fucking I met those guys on the train and I didn't. I ended up smoking with them, staying with them because obviously they had been before. Um, they were from uh, Dublin and uh, they had just come. There was three of them so I was like chilled and uh, we. I went down Burger King with them and shit like that and they took me around. I went, saw a few shops so that's why I want to go back to Central because fucking they've got loads of good shops there and also like souvenirs. The only thing is it's a bit high price so I'm going to try and look down some of these side streets as well because there's shops here as well um, and yeah there's a couple coffee shops that I want to go to that I've uh, already uh, looked up and I've also seen some as I've walking, been, been walking by like literally as you walk through the street like the smell like literally it just hits you with weed and it also smells of like a farm smell like a farm smell like a yeah like a farmyard smell and there's lots of cheese factories as well and there's lots of Heineken places I also want to do the Heineken experience even though I'm not an alcohol drinker I've worked the Heineken experience when they were on tour and um, it was actually really amazing so uh, yeah I do want to go and give that a little butchers um, but yeah I've got myself a map where is it? I've got my passport as well I'm going to leave all my stuff here. I'm going to take my driver's license as ID, but I'm not going to uh, bring my passport because it's a fucking British passport, mate. So, yeah, that's fucking gold. Like people speak English here, like people do speak English, but um, everything's in foreign, like literally it's in foreign, like, like it looks like German, but it's not, it's Dutch, but it does look like German, but literally, but they do have announcements which is in English and in, in, in fucking Dutch mate, but literally, like if you get on a train or something, or transport, I got on a train to get here. I saw a fucking double decker train mate. Well, literally, what the fuck is that all about? Like, that's so mad. Like, literally. And also, another thing is, yeah, fucking in shops, yeah, and restaurants, like the fucking, like, for example, Burger King, McDonald's, things like that, the supermarket, grocery stores, like, if you want to go, like, when you're going out, like you've got to scan the receipt to go out, like to let you out, like there's a barrier that lets you out, you've got to scan the receipt. And also fucking, when you're in Burger King, like if you want to use the toilet, you've got to scan your receipt to use the toilet. I thought that was quite interesting. Like literally, I've never seen that before. Like literally. 
I don't know if you've ever seen that other places and I'm just being stupid, but yeah, I've never seen that. I'm gonna put my just my clothes there. I haven't bought many clothes, I just bought some socks, top, spare pair boxes. I've got four spare pair boxes, four socks. I won't actually need all of that, but I've got some crisps, sweets. I'm not gonna really walk around with all of this stuff. I will walk around with that though. Right, so as I said, my mission now is to go to the shop before everything closes and uh, fucking get myself stocked up. So I need to get some drink, um, I need to get some fucking weed, I wanna get some Rizzlers, fucking, I wanna get some tobacco. Like you don't smoke tobacco over here. And also like you can smoke indoors, like everyone smokes indoors, like in the coffee shop, not in other places. But um, like you can smoke indoors, like in the coffee shop, but if you smoke it with tobacco, you've got to smoke outdoors. Like you've got, to, you, they have like something else, like this herbs, they have extra herbs that you can like mix it with. They don't have like tobacco. Like you have to smoke outside if you have got tobacco. But, um, and there's no smoking in the street as well. Although people do it, it's just like England, like people still smoke, but you can be fined. So it's just something to be think, think, think uh, thoughtful about. But yeah. But as I said, I'm gonna fucking take this lip balm with me actually, cause I can feel my lips chapping. I'm on good vibes, mate. Like literally, I can't believe I'm here. Like literally, I got off the plane. Like, oh yeah, that's what I wanna talk about, the fucking plane ride. Like it was fucking like, I'm not a big fan of flying. I really wanted to chat to you while I was on the plane, but the plane was full and everyone would have just been staring at me, giving me daggers and I've got to sit on a plane with them. And you know how people stay as it is when it comes to being on a plane and I thought, oh man, fuck off, you cunts. Anyway, fucking, I don't want to be negative. So yeah, that was that, but the plane ride weren't, it was all right, it was all right. I flew with British Airways, so it was fine. But um, yeah, it was just people as always. But no, yeah, fine. When you get here, like literally, I couldn't believe I was here, like, the weather's actually really nice, it's warmer than England, it was pissing it down with rain when I left, but um, the weather's actually not too bad, it's uh, like 6-7 degrees, um, and the sun's out, like the sun is actually out, it's really overcast though, so it's like intermittent with the sun, but no, yeah, it is out, so I'm um, stripped down to my, just my fucking body warmer and that, so yeah, but I hope you're on good vibes mate, like literally I really do, I hope you're on good vibes. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the uh, shop. As I keep saying, and yeah, I should have brought a notepad with me. Really, I might just tear some of these up up off the booking card. I've got a fucking. I'm gonna be doing a live stream as well. Hopefully, I've got internet in here, so. Yeah, I may take the address of the hotel to be. Yeah, and that, because that just gives me a rough, uh, just a rough uh, reminder as to, uh, yeah, what I need to do. I just need to understand what bus I need to take. Also, when I'm riding the actual tram, like they pronounce it in Dutch, yeah, it's not in English, and everything is all written in Dutch, but it's uh, you, it's all clear, it's just like in England when they say the next stop is fucking Junction Road or whatever, like fucking, like you know, like you can like recognize it and pronounce the sounds, like pronounce the word, like even though I don't understand the language, I can pronounce the words and recognize the words on the screen. So as long as I get to know the route, like when they say the word, I'll be able to remember it, like I'll know where, where I'm going. But it's just initially just trying to fucking, yeah. But like I said, I'm just here for a mini break. Just here to just fucking change the scenery, mate. Blaze some weed and just fucking, just something different for the videos as well. Like literally. And I thought you'd appreciate this, just watching, chilling. And all the different strains. I'm gonna try and see fucking fucking. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch a quick YouTube video of the top ten coffee shops because uh, I did watch it before I came out.
but um, I've kind of forgotten the names, but there's some of them that are quite um, camera friendly, so they'll allow you to just film them as they're getting out the weed. I think that'll be quite cool for you to see. And yeah, but uh, no, yeah, it's all good. There's loads and loads of police here. There's like a very heavy security presence, but it's very subtle. Like, it's really nice, actually. Like, they're quite, I don't know, they just seem very, like, they're there, but they're not there, if you know what I mean. They're just there, just but they're not there. It's just nice. Like, it just seems a lot better. I don't know, just uh, everything seems calmer. Like, it's very compact and very dense and very busy. Like, there's loads of fucking bikes, mate. you got to watch out for them bikes, mate. Like, literally, you got to fucking watch it for the bikes. But, yeah, fucking, like, everything's, like, really compact and dense. But it all just works and, like, it's quite smooth flowing. So, like, yeah. Anyway, fucking, I'm going to go to the shop and I'll catch you in a bit.